In the pivot table, you can show individual items or you can group them. In this pivot table, we're showing sales orders and I've got the items that were sold and then for each order, how many units were sold. So we've got one order that had three units all the way up to one order that had 50 units and we had two with 28 units of binders in the order. Instead of showing the numbers individually, we might get a better picture of how things are selling if we group the units. So show orders where there were 1 to 10 units, 11 to 20, and so on. To do that, I've got a cell selected in the Units field. I'm going to right-click on it and click Group. In the Grouping dialog box, we can see that it's offering a starting point and an ending point. It's picked up three because that's currently the lowest number of units, but I'm going to change that to one. Ending right now at 50 but I'll just uncheck that because we might sell larger quantities in the future. The grouping should be by 10, so it will show 1 to 10, then 11 to 20, and so on. When I click OK, those groups appear, so everything's now lumped in a group. We can see that there were four orders where there were 21 to 30 units, and for each product we can see the total. Once you've grouped things, you could move them around, so instead of a long table here that we'd have to scroll through. We can take units and put it across the top as a column heading. And to do that, I'm going to move units in the field list from the rows area up to columns. So I'll just drag it up. And when I drop it, we can see the headings across. So this gives us a nice summary table showing each product and quantity. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file from this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.